Mm, there we go. Hey guys. Well, we're back out here again. Doing the deed, putting dimples in the top of the skin. Um, I, I think I need to address an issue that was in, in, the, uh, in the last video. Hello, spider. Go over here. And, uh, you know, this is a, a serious issue, and I, I don't really appreciate you guys bringing it up, honestly. And uh, that's my accent. <laughs> um, it comes out sometimes. <laughs> Especially after I've been talking to people for a long time. And that day I had been talking to a bunch of different folks. And, you know, I kind of pride myself in not having an accent. Or at least trying not to. But sometimes it comes out. Um, anyway, now we've got that out of the way. Okay, important stuff. Uh, doing the deed, like I said, putting the dimples in the skin. Um, you've seen me do this a million times. No big deal. Uh, so I'm going to work on that and then I'm going to go through and I'm going to begin the basic process of putting together all of those pieces so they're finally assembled. But I'm not going to do the final assembly of everything into the top of the plane or into that front area. And the reason for that is because a lot of people that I've talked to have also the same thing. Don't do that until you put the pedals in. Like I said, the pedals are kind of tight in there. It's kind of a pain in the ass. Put those in first, then go back and do this. So what that means is... We're going to get real close, probably in this video, to putting that, the tail, on that, the fuselage. Um, we're going to see. I also had someone come out and show me how they did it on theirs, and so I'm going to go through that process. But soon, man, that's probably happening, if not in this video, the next one, but maybe this video. We'll see. Anyways, I'm going to get to continue doing this. going to put this on fast forward a little bit, zip through it, and... Uh, probably listen to my audiobook while I do it. So anyways, let me do this right quick. All right, guys, here's what I've been doing this last little bit. I didn't figure you needed to watch it. It's a lot of the same stuff, just assembling things, clecoing and whatnot. Finishing the front end, this is going to be the dash. Here is where the panel is. This is the temporary metal panel or the panel that comes with that van sends. I'm, of course, going to change it out. We've talked about it in the last video. But this is done, um, and you basically, you, you get this finished, and then you set it aside. So I'm going to set it aside while we prepare for, it's that day, putting the tail cone on. So the first thing I got to go do is I got to move this out of the way, get my table out of the way, take the horizontal and vertical stabilizers off the back, get it off of the um, dollies that they've been on forever. Uh, saw horses, not dollies. Uh, saw, saw horses they've been on forever. And I may move that onto my table just to make things a little easier as we prepare for getting everything lined up and begin that process. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move the camera out of the way and then I'm going to busy beehive to get everything prepped for doing the work. All right. So, um, I moved the camera over there and I bumped it, I think, and so it was facing the wall. So there's a lot of video that you missed, specifically of me taking off some of the stuff off the back, you know, the, the horizontal, I mean, sorry, vertical stabilizers. I'm gonna leave the horizontals on for now. I may end up taking those off too, just to free up all that weight. Uh, we'll see. But now it's about checking the, you know, what I'm supposed to be doing. I kind of already know because I've already read it, but I'm going to go over it one at a time and look at it. But yeah, so I'm going to remove some of these pieces and make this happen. And soon this is all going to go together. Hello. I open the hangar. People come out in droves. Before I open the hangar, there's nobody out here. All right, let me get to it. All right, I'm going really slow because I want to make sure I get this right. Um, so on that step, I pulled I pulled the the rib off 
off of both ends and then kind of clecoed everything together because I was told by somebody who's done this already that it's easier to do it that way than try to do it on the plane. So he actually said, try to get everything fit together and then put that back down in there once you've kind of got it all lined up. So lining it up is going to be tricky. I'm going to have to do some finagling, but we'll see. But anyways, so took that off, did the final drilling. So that's step one is to final drill those holes and then final drill the same six holes on the other end, blah, blah, blah. So step one is done. We final drill those holes. So now I need to go through and final drill number 40, all of the 332nd holes along the top edge of that bulkhead, basically all the nut plate holes. That's all these guys. So let's go do that. Okay, that took all of two seconds. So now, so we've done that. <laughs> Use, so step three, using a unibit drill, using a unibit, drill two five eight holes in the F1006 booklet according to the dimensions given in the figure. Five eighths hole right here next to this big hole. Notice the drilling through the bulkhead will also create notches in the forward flanges. Ah. Oh, no, those already exist. So it's wanting me to do a step that already exists on the part. That's interesting. Let me go make sure those are the right size. All right. Last one. I have been out here for six some odd hours. Let me bring you up to speed on what I've been doing. Um, so th I've removed everything off of the empennage. So the horizontal stabilizer stuff and really the verticals too, that's all the weight in, in your empennage. This weighs a lot. In fact, I bet you this horizontal stab weighs more than the rest of the empennage. Uh, by quite a bit. I mean, this is this is beefy. I mean, it's these big heavy spars back here, um, which is awesome. Took forever to get this thing off. I forgot how seriously stoutly it's attached, but took that off so that this I then can easily get aligned. So the issue I'm going to have is that because my stand is a little tall, a little too tall, I'm going to need to bring this up to here. And I didn't want to try to do that with all that weight back there. So I took all the weight off. Now I'm going to slowly build up a, a wood thing, you know, just a platform that I can put this up on and get it up here. But this doesn't weigh anything now. I mean, this is super light compared to what it was. So I'm going to bring that up here slowly over time and just inch it up until it's sitting perfectly you know, where it should go and then just move this backwards until it all engages. But that means this piece has to not only come up to here, but the back has to come up even farther. So that's why I really needed to take all that stuff off. So that is now done. So now I'm going to slowly build this up to where it needs to be so that I can begin the process of actually attaching it. Also something to keep in mind, you're going to attach it, final drill everything, you know, attach it with Clico's final drill everything, take it apart dimple everything you need to dimple and then put it back together. So this wasn't like a one done deal. I knew I was going to have to do it multiple times because that's just what you got to do. So yeah, this took a, that was a, I don't want to say a wasted day, but it kind of feels like a wasted day because you're undoing stuff. But yeah, so I spent all day undoing. So that's okay. We've got it where we're going to be. And so now tomorrow or the next year, whenever I get out here, probably not tomorrow because I got stuff to do, but Thursday, come out here and then actually begin building this up to attach it. For now, I've got everything just kind of sitting over here at the back of the hangar. Um, should be okay. You know, I mean, it's just kind of sitting there. It's not going to hurt anything. It's not going to fall down or anything like that. So meh. I'm going to leave it all here for now. And then uh, whew, at some point, I'm going to have to put everything back on there. Uh, and I'm going to have to refactor my stand a little bit because its height is unfortunately just stupid. I, I, I did poorly there. I made it way too high. So other than that, that's what I did today. So, oh, all right. Now on to tomorrow. 
Hey guys, all right, here we are. We're back out here. So it's been several days since that last little bit. Uh, now I'm actively attaching the tail cone to the fuselage and what a colossal pain in the ass. Um, so there's not a lot of footage of this because it was a lot of me standing around cursing. And uh, you know, I'm trying to keep this as a, a, a child friendly channel, but long story short, what you have to do is the skin that's on the empennage has to go between the fuselage skin and the fuselage ribs. And that sucks. Um, a lot of what I had to do was go through here and find ways to kind of lift the empennage up to where it was supposed to be and then elevate the back end because when you, when you put it together, it's kind of sitting like that. So you have to elevate the back end up to bring it so that everything is matching. And that's what I've done. Uh, I could easily take all of this off, except I'm concerned about my stand being now, uh, you know, just physics, right? I, even though this is not a lot of weight back here, the instant I take this off, the whole thing's gonna fall. So at this point, I need to refactor my stand, add like a really long boom down here to handle the fact that this is, well, the shape that it is. So very cool though, going through and drilling a couple uh, of the holes a little wider to make it easier to put the Clecos in because, um, 90% line up some cases like like some of them are perfectly lined up and you still kind of got to squeeze the rivet up or the rivet the the Clico up in there because they've never been match drilled before um, but some of them not as cleanly matched up and, and you know I try to refactor and rejigger and reposition a little bit just to help but sometimes it doesn't you just have to redo it so doing that um, the spar that goes, not spar, the rib that goes here, I've got out temporarily, uh, but it's just a matter of putting it in there and clecoing it in place. So I'm gonna do that here shortly uh, before I do all the match drilling everywhere. And I do for the time being have these uh, longerons clamped together on either side to help support the structure because I just don't want it to fall apart. I don't want everything on the skin. I don't want the skin holding it all together, even though this is super light. You know, this, this, this empennage area with the stuff off is super light. And I definitely recommend taking that off. Um, I had contemplating leaving the horizontal stabilizers on while trying to do this. No, don't even try to do that. Just, just accept the fact that you're going to have to take those off because there's a lot of finagling and manhandling this. And if it had all that weight back there, I can't imagine that would have been fun at all to try to do. So, uh, I mean, pretty awful. It took me about three hours, I guess, to get it to where everything lined up. And it was a lot of getting it a little bit lined up over here and then going to the other side and getting it a little bit lined up only to hear it click off from where I had it lined up on this side. So it was like, Arr. and so there was some inching, kind of inching it together and clamping it down and then moving that side on, you know, on that side a little bit, clamping it down and come back over here, loosen the clamp, move it a little. So there was a little inching it to get it into place. But once I got it into place, um, it's in place. <laughs> so like I said, now I'm gonna go through, drill everything, drill, 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 uh, and then follow the instructions. There's a whole, like two or three pages of instructions of what I have to do, uh, most of which is just them being specific as to what you have to final drill. Uh, I will say there is a whole line of holes that uh, are on this mid fuselage skin that are not on the empennage lower skin that you have to drill. Uh, you have to not just match drill, but you're, you're actually drilling the hole all the way through this skin uh, in order to line those up. So that's something I'm gonna have to do too, which means I'm gonna have to get this out of the way. Uh, so there will be me lifting this up, pulling the table out of the way and then putting something under there to make sure it doesn't fall down. Although I don't think it'll happen, but again, better safe than sorry. The last thing I wanna do is damage this beast so yeah, um, wow, this, this was a lot. There's a lot going on here. Very cool, uh, lots to do yet. And uh, I, I, this is a relief, honestly. This, this, is, uh, this is one of those things that I was dreading doing. And now that I've got it done, it's really not that bad. I mean, it, was, it sucked, but it's not that bad. You know? uh, now I do, like after I, I match drill everything, I do still have to pull it apart and then dimple everything that needs to be dimpled and then put it back together again. So we're not done yet. So, you know, we've done, we've done some of the hard part, but we've not done all the hard part. So anyways, that's where we're at here. And uh, 
thank y'all so much for watching. Um, I, I, boy, this is, this is getting cool. Uh, one cool thing is just for you guys, just so you know, I, uh, was browsing through some of my channels, some of the other people that I watch and the aviation folks. And I noticed that like half the videos that I watch, uh, I don't subscribe to their channels weirdly like it like the YouTube algorithm is one of those where it just it just it feeds you you know channels that you've watched before but you may or may not be subscribed and I just went through and I subscribed to the, all those people that I watch and my my ask to you is that if you're watching this stuff and you enjoy what you're seeing and you're not subscribed do me a favor and click subscribe it does help the channel a lot I and mean, that's all you have to do so anyways guys with that I'm gonna cut this one uh, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you guys like what I'm doing on this channel, if you do me a favor and hit like and subscribe, uh, it does help the metrics. And comment down below if you have any questions or comments or concerns. I mean, if you guys, some of you guys are, are, have brought up some really great stuff that have made me think about things. So believe it or not, I really do appreciate it. Uh, and finally, if you want to help support this channel, if you jump over to my Patreon page for as little as a dollar a month, you guys can help support me. Think of it as buying me a cup of coffee over the internet. I love coffee. You guys are helping me, telling me you want me to keep making this stuff. I really appreciate it. So, yeah, so here we go. This is, this is awesome. Um, so much work left to do. Uh, like I said, like I just said, I'm going to have to undo everything and then redo it a couple more times, which sucks, but it is what it is. Anyways, guys, thanks. See you next time.